Right, as promised earlier, here we go with an unboxing video. And first off is a Matchbox Chevy Impala Taxi. And this, I'll have to warn you, it's a long one because it's quite a big box in and hang around till the end and you'll get quite a big surprise but it's good and worth seeing the vehicles that are in it here we are the matchbox mercedes no window so i'll have to get a window off of that one the matchbox denver fire truck american one matchbox hurry hustler i'm looking through because there are quite a few I'll take a bit more time on the more interesting ones. Corgi, Beach Buggy. Got about three or four of them now. Here we go. Match uh, Corgi. Porsche 911. I've got two of them in this. One. Couple I'm saving here till later. Pull them to one side. A Matchbox SRN6 which I'm working on one of these at the moment but trying to make something different out of it I'm halfway through the video uh, Mazda I've got two of them now one has the boot lid and one has the window so I'm making one going out too uh, Matchbox pickup with the solid grill so that's still in one piece Matchbox Mercury a nice BW recovery truck a cargo where you don't find them with the lids that often so that's nice that it still has the lid make a nice restoration Matchbox Gruesome Twosome with well Gruesome Onesome really isn't it and let's see uh, Matchbox Lamborghini Marzal A Corgi Ferrari Just needs tyres and the clear plastic uh, Matchbox Opal Matchbox Horsebox needs a door and some super fast wheels I think I already have the wheels Matchbox Greyhound Buzz with silver, uh, super fast wheels Matchbox Mercury Cougar I think uh, Husky Tow Truck without the tow truck uh, Corgi MGC just needs the rear hatchback and tyres Possibly looking at that, I might need a suspension unit. I'll have a look when it's stripped down. A dinky AEC Merriweather. I had one of them as a kid and I got it confiscated while I were in hospital because I squirted the matron with it. Properly not impressed. Makes a change, a bloke squirting on us, but whoa, leave it. Anyway, a Matchbox tyre fryer, a Matchbox cement mixer, the earlier version, had a wheel on the bottom there that were geared to the drum, so when you pushed it on the floor, the drum rotated. Uh, well, what can you say? No windows, no beacon and no wheels. I think that's going to make a custom at some time. Matchbox horsebox. A matchbox. I've got two of these in the batch of bar. Matchbox Mustang. Matchbox super fast Unimog. Dodge Charger Matchbox Mercury I think it is Dragster Matchbox again Dinky Ford Escort 
needs to boot lid but otherwise well boot lid and tires otherwise complete uh, matchbox snow truck I've got about four of them now matchbox big banger another matchbox mustang in good condition complete the matchbox ford pre uh, prefect popular another corgi porsche just needs a couple of tires for that one and glass unit matchbox Murray weather fire engine small version of the big one there we go matchbox Bedford Jupiter torch a matchbox cement wagon matchbox mod rod matchbox super fast pickup matchbox camper van with a piece of resistance the paint's not too bad it may get painted or I may leave it as is because as a rarity it's a complete one matchbox Lamborghini Miura uh, king size one missing the rear window I don't think you can get them so I may have to make one myself get another Miura and mould it myself matchbox Mercury looks like a fire chief one with dogs strangely some that just jumped off the edge matchbox Chevrolet Impala Kennel Club pretty much complete and this one is that it has a good chassis a really good chassis so that one will just get tires a sliding window off one of the other ones I don't think it's in there but I've got one on I've got two or three of them so I can salvage a window off another and I can build a good kennel club one at last it has nice memories for me as a kid kennel club in power uh, matchbox dodge challenge charger which is going to end up as the bullet charger going to end up black as a baddies car uh, lone star trailer uh, corgi Austin Mini Oh, sit down again another matchbox go mercury cougar or whatever they are loads of them as a kid loads of them now matchbox caravan this is an interesting little thing an old plastic and a metal base but it's a lone star june buggy a matchbox mercedes I've got another one of them with the original wheels except that one has a uh, boot lid the matchbox dodge charger dragster that'll end up as a custom because I have a better example uh, Corgi Juniors Ford Transit Camper missing radios the matchbox Lotus Super 7 missing the windscreen as per usual and slightly buckled front wheels two matchbox pointer tippers another two jumped off uh, matchbox Ford Cartina super fast wheels we're missing air pillars a Lamborghini Marzal again matchbox matchbox tipper truck 
Matchbox pickup truck with front grill missing again. Parts always missing off that. Hard to find ones complete. Uh, Matchbox mod rod. Another one on top of the other there. Another Matchbox Mercury I think. They're all Mercury, they all look like it to me. Uh, Husky. Ferrari without the roof and glazing it. Shame because that's a nice casting. And not only do I get one in a collection with the hood left on, I get two with the box lid left on, which is astounding. In one collection, you'd normally expect one of them to be missing. And Corgi, Corvette, in good condition, just needs a screen unit. Now this one, this is a little doozy. It's a small husky van. Now I have two. My other one, I'm going to use the base unit of it because it's got a good front bumper and grill. But almost every single one of these you see doesn't have those on it. The back doors. This one has its back doors complete. So I can at last make one good one out of two of them. So happy days with that one. And this one up next, I've got a couple of them in this collection. That's one of them. And that's missing all the pieces that are normally missing. But one of them, this one, there we go. I've finally got the hood off one of them now. So I can make a full one because I have another one that has the windscreen. Because normally this car is either missing the boot lid, the hood, or the windscreen. You rarely find it complete. Very rarely. So now I can make a full one of them. Uh, another Matchbox Greyhound bus. Or did I have to? Well, I've got about three of them now. Matchbox for the pre. Let's pick these up off the floor. The folders. A Matchbox Mercedes coach. Matchbox Citroen SM. A Matchbox Citroen Safari. Uh, no, sorry, that's a Husky Citroen Safari. Matchbox Builder Supply Van Mercedes. A Corgi Porsche 911. Another one. I think there's a blue one somewhere. And I've already gone through it. Uh, Corgi Juniors used to be Husky. Petrol tanker. A Guy Warrior, I've already done one of them, different shape tank the other day. This one's a sad one. It's a Mustang, but the air pillars are broken. It's got a broken front valance and uh, no door. So I think that's gonna be a barn find or scrapyard scene. Uh, Vauxhall Guildsman Matchbox Another Matchbox, one of the Cooper things uh, Matchbox Lotus Europa A Matchbox Daff Silo Truck or whatever Corgi Mercedes C111. Funny how the Germans like calling things 111s. Don't mention the war. Anyway, the uh, Draguar missing the bubble top. I have a complete one of them, so. 
happy days. I'll probably use the engine off it for a custom. Uh, Matchbox Super Cooper. Uh, Matchbox Mercedes. A Matchbox Super Fast Mini. And a Matchbox Original Wheels Rolls Royce Shadow. Which will be very nice once done. This one's one I've wanted for a while and I've found one in good condition. And it's the Matchbox DAF flatbed truck. Another one with happy memories for me as a kid. And this one it's got all wheeled straight just in lovely condition. So I think I'll just look for a load for that one. The slightly rougher Ford Escort police car. A uh, dinky, uh, corgi major scammel, unfortunately missing interior and glass. I did wonder how they got it out of that, but then I discovered the actual cab spit, splits and unclicks off. So it's been unclicked and the interior took out. Matchbox bin wagon. I've restored one of them on channel. Uh, Corgi Ferrari. Not quite quite see which one it is. Ferrari Dino. Uh, car, uh, Matchbox. Ford Cartina. Normal wheels. Intact. A Corgi. This was originally it's a Toyota 2000, it was originally released in Y with the normal Corgi wheels and it was released as the James Bond version this is the later Wiz wheels version of it sorry that may just have been off, there you are that's the car uh, a matchbox Lamborghini Miura Matchbox VW Camper Matchbox, this is another one we're after for collection A Matchbox tow truck A pipe wagon trailer I might eventually get a pipe wagon for it Corgi Rockets, another Seal 111, a driver for a race on, I'll show you that in a minute. A Britain's Horse, Britain's Indian. God knows, anybody knows what make that is? It's a clockwork racing car. It's meant to be a shark nose Ferrari. But anybody know who made it? No. Because I'm clueless. And that one, it's a dinky Pontiac Parisienne. Very nice little model. And here we have a Matchbox Super Kings Massey Ferguson tractor. I remember getting one of them for my birthday as a kid. There uh, we have, uh, I'm not a clue if anybody could tell me what that one is. I can't see anything stamped in it. Oh, I can. Sorry. Can't see what it is. I think it's just England. So if anybody knows what that one is, it'd be interesting to find out. Uh, Matchbox Land Rover. Interesting, the super fast model rather than the probably more common uh, aquamarine coloured one, turquoise. Uh, Matchbox VW Beetle Dragster. We're missing engines, so that'll probably end up as a custom. Here's an interesting one. 
Oh, wait a minute, we'll do that one. I don't know how much you've missed of the unboxing on this because it did cut out. But basically, what I've got it for, there's some additives such as this monkey mobile that comes complete with all four figures in it, all four members of the band. And normally you don't get that complete in a nice restorable condition, so that's going to make a nice video coming up. And also, another unusual one, we've got the Tri Driver fella, we've got the Tri Ang race car, and they did these in numerous countries. So they did different colours and different stickers, international ones, so that'll make a nice little project at some point. But got that little wind up one, all wicked. So that's a shout out Ferrari, uh, Pontiac Parisienne, a dinky. So yeah, I don't know how much you got of it, but basically, there's over, I'd say there's 150 cars, all vintage, there's none, there's none of them into the 80s, it's all 60s and 70s and before. So it's from, it spans from the 50s to the 70s. Um, for a box there of 100 and... I'm saying there's about 150 I think. I counted 130 but my friend that collected them for me, because it was collection only and it was near him, when he laid them out for a YouTube video for me to see on online I counted 130. But there's more that he didn't put in the video, so I'm saying 150. And for that 150, I won't give you my techniques of how I looked, but I will say it was a bad photo. They didn't bother taking everything out of the box. I just looked on top and I could see what I could see. And I looked deeper through the cars and could see stuff lower down. I didn't know how deep it was. So I just took the lucky pump, but what I could see on the top, the few cars I could see on the top, I more than made the money on the first bid. I put a lot more on it than I actually paid, just in case I missed down for what I knew the value was. But for all them in there, I got it for the first bid because nobody else bidded. Nobody spotted, I'll not say why, because I keep stuff like that to myself or I don't get up. Other people beat me to it. But for all them, it was £15. Yeah, not 50, 15. So you could really say if you bid separate on other listings, your monkey mobile, that Pontiac Parisienne, that one say, and say just for instance say that one, you'd pay 15 quid there, so everything else is just gravy, so happy days, that'll keep the channel going for quite a while. Thank you for watching, thank you to all my subscribers, a big thank, thank you to all them, they're gradually building up, and anybody else that will, subscribe, and if you will, ring the bell for notifications, and all it remains to say is thank you very much, and see you in my next video.